What is up guys? It's Robheads. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to create sounds from the track Revolt by Mala and Jackknife and this is what it sounds like. <laughs> If you're new to this channel, I release a new video every Friday. I talk about music production, sound design and my creative process and how I create my tracks. So if you don't want to miss on any of that, make sure to subscribe. So now let's get into the video. Just a kick and claps. Uh, then I use this uh, automation here to control the wet knob on the uh, fruity reverb. So this one right here, you can see that it opens up every fourth bit. I also have some smaller reverb on the clap as well. So for this big reverb you want really high decay, like 3 seconds. Uh, high cut pretty much all the way up size all the way up, uh, damping at around 18 kilohertz. For the cymbals I have just this ride right here which is layered with this um, downlifter sound, just white noise. Then on the second part of the drop I have this closed hi-hat. So all together it sounds like this. First there is this triplet uh, kind of bass. I just made this sound in Serum. So for this sound it's just basically oh, this uh, saw wave at minus two octaves, some white noise and this really short envelope. It also controls the cutoff of the low pass filter. In the effects I have some diode 2 distortion with drive at around 40%, some multiband compression and hyper dimension. In the mixer channel I have uh, some EQ to boost some of the high end saturation, uh, OTT and some more EQ. Then I layered this sound with this drum sample. So yeah, I just added some overdrive on it and together they sound like this. Next we have this bass which was probably the hardest to remake. Probably in the original they used some sort of uh, like analog sound. Um, so I tried to recreate that as best as I could in Serum. So I have two layers. First is this top layer and then I have a bottom layer. They sound like this. So for this top layer I have three oscillators. Uh, first is the sub oscillator which is a triangle wave uh, which is set to minus two octaves. Then we have oscillator A, which is also at minus two octaves and is basically just a basic shape, a saw wave. Uh, unison is set to seven with detune at around 50%. Then we have this dirty saw wave table, which you can find under digital right here. And uh, it also unison of uh, seven voices, a little bit less detuned and octave is at minus one. Next we have a filter where uh, which is basically just a low pass filter and LF, um, envelope one is controlling the cutoff. Uh, the envelope one is shaped like this so it has this um, really short decay, a little bit of sustain and a little bit of release. How you shape this envelope is really gonna change the sound as well as uh, how much you open up the filter so you can play around a little bit with that also different um, different wavetables and different wavetable positions will give you you know different texture to the sound so you can play around with that. For the effects I used uh, Seinfeld uh, distortion which is basically a wave shaper. Um, I used envelope 1 to control the drive so it goes from 0 to around 15%. Um, then I have some multiband compression with the top band turned all the way down. Uh, gain is set at around uh, 19 decibels. Then I added some hyper and dimension just to make the sound a little bit wider. And then at the end another low pass filter where I also control the cutoff with the envelope 1. In the mixer channel I have EQ really simple and then another EQ just to remove some of the low end 
and for the bottom layer so again i used uh, three oscillators for the sub oscillator i have a saw wave on oscillator a another saw wave with octave at minus one and then oscillator b is just a sine wave another um, low pass filter uh, the same shape of the envelope the envelope one is controlling the cutoff and in the effects we have some tube distortion compression and then another low pass filter so uh, the bottom layer on its own sounds like this and then the top layer on its own sounds like this next i routed both of those channels to a bus channel where i added some ott some compression uh, saturation knob then fab filter saturn where i use this slightly driven saturator preset next i added uh, this bit crusher and some reverb at the end so without the effects it sounds like this and with the effects it sounds like this uh, yeah next we have this laser sound which sounds like this it's really simple sound i just used uh again really short envelope one i used a uh, sine wave and a uh, uh, saw wave i used fm from b on oscillator a uh, so i turned the level of oscillator b all the way down uh, next we have this low pass filter to remove some of the high frequencies and in the effects i have some hyper and dimension to make it a little bit wider some tube distortion and some multiband compression in the mixer channel i added some eq just to remove some of the low frequencies uh, ott with depth at around 30 percent and just a little bit of sound goodizer and that's it so next on the second part of the drop we have this vocal type of bass <laughs> Okay, so it's made out of two layers. First, we have this vocal bass. So on the oscillator A, I use this retro speaking uh, wavetable. On the oscillator B, I have this Sam Speaks wavetable, which you can also find under Powell wavetables. Both of the oscillators are at minus one octave. And then for the filter, I use this um, formant filter, which you can find under miscellaneous formant one which gives you this really like vocal type bass you know so as you can hear so you can you can change the cutoff to get different vowels so i have cut off um all the way down drive at around 30 percent resonance at around 45 percent and formant at around 30 percent um, I'm using LFO1 to control the wavetable position of oscillator A and LFO2 to control the warp mode, which is band minus, of oscillator A and also the cutoff of the filter. This is just to uh, give the sound a little bit more movement. Then under effects we have some hyper and dimension just to make it a little bit wider, uh, some tube distortion uh, and some multiband compression. So pretty standard stuff um, in the effects i use this uh, wow 2 plugin and i used this band reject filter and just turned the cutoff at around 10 o'clock and then use this overdrive i uh, brought it up to around uh, 50 percent next i use this plugin effector it basically does something similar to what this uh, filter does in the serum so if you move this thing around it gives you like different uh different sounds uh like this so i like it around somewhere here so and then for the eq i just remove some of the low frequencies and some of the, this uh really harsh area Next, I layer this sound with the saw, which sounds like this. So it's just two saw waves. Oscillator A is at minus one octaves and oscillator B is at minus two octaves. Uh, I used five voices uh, on the oscillator A and the tune 
uh, is set to around 50%. And in the effects, I just added some multiband compression and some hyper and dimension. Uh, on the bus channel, I just have some EQ and some dimension expander just to make it uh, a little bit wider. I also automated the pitch of both of those channels so it kind of slides in right here. Uh, so I just automated this um, knob right here uh, so it sounds like this. So yeah, all together it sounds like this. <laughs> If you would like to download this FLP and Serum presets from this video, you can do so by joining my Facebook group, Drophead Screw, where you can get access to free presets from all of my tutorials, FLPs and other exclusive content. Link for that is in the description. So this is it for this week's video. If you guys enjoyed it, please leave a like and make sure to subscribe. If you have a song in mind that you want me to remake next, uh, you can leave your suggestion in the comments. So yeah, as always, Hope you guys have a really good weekend and I will talk to you guys next Friday.